What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I want to talk about maximum power point tracking charge controllers. Every solar panel system that has batteries needs a charge controller. Its purpose is to regulate and control the power coming from the solar panels to the batteries to prolong the health of the batteries. There are three types of charge controllers, a simple on-off controller, a pulse width modulation controller, and a maximum power point tracking controller. On-off controllers like this one in the picture are very simple devices. All they do is detect the voltage of the battery bank and turn on or off the power. Pulse width modulation controllers will charge a little bit faster than on-off controllers and then they taper down the voltage as the battery gets full. When the battery is full, the controller switches to a float charging profile which basically just keeps a trickle of current coming into the battery to keep it from discharging. PWM controllers will extend the life of a battery over simple on-off controllers. Maximum power point tracking controllers are much more advanced and much more efficient than the two older types. These controllers are smart enough to be able to convert excess voltage into additional current that normally would be wasted by a PWM controller. Most solar panels produce much higher voltage than is necessary to charge a 12 volt battery or 24 or 48 volt if you have that configuration. A 12 volt charging panel will actually produce 16 to 18 volts depending on conditions, but only about 14.6 volts is necessary to charge most 12 volt batteries. So the MPPT controller can convert those extra volts into more current which will charge the battery faster and be much more efficient. Another advantage of MPPT controllers is that they can handle much higher voltage configurations of solar panels to help minimize voltage drop or line losses. In other words, you can wire more solar panels in series in order to increase the input voltage, allowing you to run smaller gauge wires or travel much farther distances between panels and charge controller without big losses. This benefit also allows you to run bigger panel arrays than you normally could with a PWM controller. On a related note, if your solar panel system is grid tied, an MPPT controller is the only kind that can handle the high voltages in those types of systems. So if you're grid tied and you want to add some batteries in for backup power, MPPT is the only way you can do it. MPPT controllers are about 94 to 99% efficient, which can be as much as 30% more efficient than a similar PWM controller. However, they usually cost two to three times more than PWM because MPPT is still a new technology. They're also usually much bigger than a PWM controller if that makes any difference to you. MPPT controllers are critical for off-grid solar panel systems in cold climates or areas with lots of cloud cover as they can extract every bit of solar power that's available. One of the only other drawbacks to MPPT is that they don't work very well in low light conditions because they have a hard time finding that sweet spot of maximum power. Luckily those conditions don't last very long and it more than makes up for it the rest of the day. Finally, there are many companies that are claiming that their controllers are MPPT on the market now. I'm not going to say that all of them are junk, but do some research into the brand before you buy it and make sure that it gets good reviews and that the company's been around for a little while. I would say generally speaking, if your MPPT controller's in the $100 range, it's a cheap knockoff and it's not going to last very long or be nearly as efficient as a normal MPPT controller. Well, that wraps up another video. If this has been helpful to you, please hit subscribe and help me out.